Hi everyone, welcome back to Just a Little Bit Random. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five OMG moments from Under the Dome's third season's third episode. Spoiler warning, if you haven't seen the episode yet, I recommend not watching my video as it will contain spoilers for the episode called Redux. Here we go, my top five OMG moments. So, number one, is it Splitsville for Barbie and Julia? For someone like myself, who is very much still holding a candle for them, even though they have only been together for three weeks, do need to remind myself of that. I was pretty upset during this episode when Barbie was just like, I still love Ava, you know, that feels like yesterday, but Julia's like, no, but I love you, and then of course they hugged, and it's like, oh my god, so you still do love each other, but, you know, then he went in and held hands with Ava, and it was just all sad. I mean, I, I, I do see where Barbie's coming from, you know, I mean, in his mind, it has been a year, he did mourn Julia, he moved on, he met Ava, she was, you know, she seemed like a nice girl, but, you know, on the other hand, Ava is actually evil, and the alternate reality wasn't real, like, it hasn't been a year, I'm pretty sure it hadn't even been a day. Okay, OMG moment number two, Big Jim has left the building. So, after eavesdropping on Ava and Christine in the town hall and then following Ava and finding the video of Christine touching the egg and whatever happened after that, instead of showing someone which, you know, could actually cause the town to rebel against Christine and Ava and could potentially save them from whatever it is the dome has in store, he decided to hop on a boat with his new bestie and head to the island across the lake. His bestie, of course, being a dog, which the dog is super adorable. I'm not even a dog person, and I think the dog's adorable. But I think we all know that there's no way Jim's going to be on that island for long. He'll be on the island for... Oh, I bet he's not even on the island for a whole episode. OMG moment number three. Junior burnt down his house. So early on in the episode, Junior decides that his dad is a bad guy you know, something he's only decided every second day since the dome came down. And he decides that he can't live with him under the dome anymore and so he decides to try and kill himself since trying to kill Big Jim didn't work. Luckily, of course, Uncle Sam came to the rescue and, you know, used his alcohol anonymous meeting counsellings from, again, the alternate reality that was not real skills to stop Junior from pulling the trigger. Not that I think Junior would have pulled the trigger Anyway, but, you know, it's, it's good to see that Sam's helping. Unfortunately, then Christine gets her mitts into Junior and all of a sudden he wants to burn his house down and succeeds. And then Junior just starts whistling. OMG moment number four. Melanie is dead again. So we all know that, of course, she died 25 years ago, but then the Dome brought her back, and we figure the Dome probably brought her back to do a job, or they did, to, Christine said, to get her to put everybody into the cocoons, which was lovely. And then that makes me think, did Melanie really, you know, all last season, did she know, or was it really like a when she went down to the tunnels, that's when she found out sort of deal? I think that's probably more it. Um, makes me a little bit sad though, you know, I really did like Melanie until she, you know, started killing everyone. But if this was always the plan, you know, if they were always just going to kill her off like this, then why did they go through all that trouble of making the connection between her and Barbie? You know, why did we need to know that she was Barbie's sister? And OMG moment number five, Christine is one crazy wackadoo. After she came out of the Queen Cocoon in the previous episode, obviously we knew something was up, you know, she and Ava... They were definitely not in Chester's Mill for the past two seasons, but all of a sudden they're there, they're in these cocoons, you know, how long have they been there, what's going on? It's actually really interesting that they did sort of give us those answers in that episode, in the video that Jim found. They gave us the information that they were there from Acting on Energy to find the egg, which they found. Christine touched it, it turned purple exactly like it did with Melanie, and, you know, she was programmed, I guess. They, the dome downloaded something into her, and I'm not entirely sure what, but... You know, after the conversation that she had with Melanie in the tunnels, it's it's proof that she's she's really she's not a great person. And then of course the fact that she used Melanie, you know, she used Melanie to gain Julia and Barbie's trust. And especially Julia. I mean, 
she told Melanie you need to kill Julia and then Christine goes and kills Melanie for trying to kill Julia. It's, it's bad. So the writers have come out and said that Christine was created to provide some much needed exposition for the audience. So am I supposed to take that to mean that Christine is the dome in human form? It seems to me that's that's what it is, but then it still raises the question of who sent the dome, why do they need them to be, you know, the, the collective hive mind or whatever, you know, what is it for? And they have it, my top five OMG moments from the third episode of season three of Under the Dome. So before I log off, I'll leave you guys with four questions that I'm hoping are answered either in next week's episode or in episodes to come. Question number one. What is going on between Joe, Nori, and Hunter? So it's pretty obvious that there's a huge love triangle that's brewing and has been brewing since maybe even last season. You know, so obviously Hunter and Nori feel a feelings for each other. Joe still very much likes Nori, and you know what's going to happen. Question number two: What exactly was that purple crystal that Christine found behind the curtain and then used? to wipe off Melanie's blood and, like, draw all the members of Chester's meal together for that final scene where they're all looking up at the moon, just staring in their neighbour and, you know, Barbie hold hands and I get really angry. Question number three. As adorable as that dog is, what's its deal? You know, like, why does Jim have a dog? Where did the dog actually come from? And question number four. Is Nori going to channel her inner Katniss throughout the rest of this season with her bow and arrow? Well, that's it from me today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well so that you don't miss any more of my OMG moments from this season of Under the Dome. If you want to read more about this season, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to my blog post about it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any OMG moments that you want to share with me, be sure to put them in the comment section below. But until then, stay random.